All right, guys, welcome back to another 20 round training challenge. We're down here at the farm yet again. Last time we were here, if you recall, we were shooting we were shooting one target from a low ready position. Today, we're gonna to be shooting two targets from a low ready position again. One thing to mention, here in Canada, we are, let's just say we're limited. Uh, magazine capacity is five rounds. We do have 10 round stripper clips, as again, I'm using the SKS iron sights. I do have optics coming for this, and I'll bring that to you in a future video, but the stripper clips have 10 rounds on them. You put five in, say it's five. All right, here's the tip. Just keep the stripper clips. You know how many times it took me to say that. So you keep the stripper clips once they're empty. You just put five back on the stripper clip. So each time you go to load, you're only loading five. Whereas when I load 10, I then got to transition and put the five back in my pocket. Whereas you can just drop the strip clip and carry on. Yeah, complicated, I know. But we're going to get started here. I'm going to go engage two targets. First target we're going to engage is going to be at five yards. The second target is going to be at eight yards. We got five in there. You got to put the other five in your pocket. Now you see the targets. We got one here, one over there. Last time we were doing this, we were doing kind of slow. We are just coming up, getting on target, sending two rounds, and going back. Today we're going to try and speed things up just a little bit. We're going to start at the low ready position. We're going to come up, fire two rounds. And back down to low ready. We do that again, then we're going to scan for a threat on the same target. All right, guys, let's go see how we did. So the first target, as I said, is five yards. Actually, I'm gonna give you my point of view here. So there's the first target of five yards. Second target to the right there. I guess that's about 10 yards. Let's go see how we did. All right, so again, we're coming up to the shoulder, sending the rounds quickly, but they gotta be on target. All right, so we got one here, one here, one here. One here. That's not too bad. Uh, I want them all in the center square, but it is what it is. If you're coming up, you got to acquire your target real quick and then send them. I'll try that again, but we're going to transition over to the other target as well. Guys, we're going to do it again here from a low ready. Two rounds at five yards. Now we're going to go two rounds, same target, transition one round to the other target. Let's go see how we did. So I got one a little high there. Another two down here. And yes, I forgot my Sharpie to mark the uh, holes off. However, so I transitioned. So the first two rounds were two on this guy. The second one was two on this guy, one on the other one. Let's go see what we did over there at 10 yards. Okay, so that one there worked out pretty good. All right, guys, we touched on this in the last video about your stance. I personally do not like to stand squared off, right? I do not like to do that at all. I want to be able to move, and I don't want to be rocked back and forth. So I offset my feet just a little bit wider than my shoulders, and you lean onto your front toes. If you have to move side to side, you can move whichever way you need to move. Again, after you shoot, scan for a threat, go back to low ready. So we're going to do this again. We're going to go two on the five yard. We'll go two on the ten yard. Scan for the threat, back to low ready. All right guys, let's go see how we did. All right, so again, forgot my Sharpie. But as you can see, they're all in center mass, which is exactly what we wanted. Let's go check the 10. All right, that's the single from before. Got one a little high, one a little low. Either way, you're not getting back up. One thing I want to mention, you see some people shoot and you got really nice tight little group right there that's great but this piece of cardboard is not shooting back so there's really no stress involved that piece of cardboard shoots back it's going to change the story just a little bit I look at all these holes as multiple trauma points all right so we're nearing the end of our 20 rounds again we've got our transition going from one close target at five to a farther away target at ten 
two subjects. So this is our 10 and we're going to stick with it because it's only got three holes in it. For reference, we got one in the middle, one up top, one down the bottom. Now we're going to go low ready and we're going to shoot two rounds into that target. Try it again. Two rounds, 10 yards. All right, let's go see how we did. All right, so we got another one in center mass, another one down here, one just on the outside edge. I'm guessing he's not a 100 pounder and probably braided his armpit hair with the other one, but not bad. All right, so in our 20 round training challenge, we are down to three rounds. We're gonna do all three rounds on the five yard target headshot. Again, we have to get proficient on the low ready coming up, just firing around, just scanning and coming back down before we can get the speed. Today we did things a little quicker than we did last week. Nate's not been used to doing the low ready up two rounds, scan and back down. Until last week, that was the first time we did it. Today, he's gonna be low ready. He's gonna come up, he's gonna put all three rounds in the head. It's not gonna be super fast, but the idea is to get them all where you wanna put them. And then we'll go from there. We'll work on speed after that, so go. Yeah, get around these logs and they brought up from the low ready three shots to the head one two three all right now again we were not looking for speed here we were looking for the accuracy like i said in the last video nate's not done this before so this is all new to him he didn't scan yes i told him about that off camera he didn't scan anyway you scan for your threat back to low ready if that warrants but i'm going to say he lost both cheekbones and his uh, left front tooth so that's all we got for today in this 20 round challenge. I encourage you guys to get out there, practice with your weapons because if you own one of these weapons, it's incumbent upon you to be safe with it, be proficient with it, and learn the tactics. Other than that, you're just a liability with a firearm and that just doesn't do anybody any good, especially yourself. All right, so that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of that. Hey, if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button down below. It helps out a lot because YouTube does not like this at all. See you on the next one. Later. Uh, just a tip. <laughs> just a tip. <laughs> uh, just a tip. Keep the clipper. Keep the stripper.